Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to use system sounds with Swift and Xcode and also how to vibrate your phone. So let's go ahead and get started. And now as I click something, it's going to do an alarm. All right, so first thing we need to do is open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application, although this will actually work with Sprite Kit and other things as well. So just click on single view application, click next, our product name, I'm just going to call this test, doesn't really matter. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click next and create. And again, this is a universal concept, so, so pretty much the only thing you need is for the language to be Swift. So let's head right into our main.storyboard and inside of this I'm just going to add a new button. So this button right here, I'm just going to click and drag this on here. So this button here will basically call what we're trying to do. It'll vibrate the device or it'll do whatever we need it to do. So let's go ahead, click on this button, and I'm just going to say do something as the title. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so it's an easier workspace to work in. And let's open up our assistant editor and right click or control click and drag from this do something button to our view controller .swift. I'm going to change the connection type to an action. And then our name of this will just be do something action connect. So it's going to do some action as soon as this button is pressed. Now, of course, this concept that I'm trying to show you, it can work in our view to load. It just basically needs to be called somewhere. So I'm just using this button as an idea. And right before we go into this action here, we need to import a new framework. So this framework will allow us to control our device. So we can import our AV foundation. This is the framework that's going to allow us to control our device, but we also need to import our audio tool box, like so. So now this is going to allow us to take the audio that's on our device and allow us to use it in this action. So we need to go into the do something action and we're just going to type in audio services play system sound. So I'm going to play a system sound. What do I want this system sound to be? I'm just going to type in system sound ID, open parentheses, close parentheses, and inside of these parentheses, it's waiting for a UINT32. Basically, there's something in the system inside of this audio toolbox that you see right here that we're trying to grab. So in order for us to grab that audio that's inside of our device, we need to use some numbers. Now these numbers are not super easy to find, so I will leave a link in the description down below, and it has the website to all the audio services that are on your iPhone. Now before we actually head over to the device, I'm going to click on this do something button here, go down to the bottom right hand corner and say add missing constraints. Click and now build and run. So as you can see, I have my iPhone right here and if I click do something, you will hear the mail received action. So I can easily interchange this and just say 1304 and this will play an alarm sound. And now as I click something, it's going to do an alarm. And as you can hear too, it's actually vibrating at the same time. Now if you just want it to vibrate, you can go all the way down here and it's going to have this number 4095. Now if you don't remember 4095, you can easily just type in K and then it should come up with K system sound ID underscore vibrate. So you can just tab all that in like so. And now if we click this do something button, it's just going to vibrate. So now we can click on do something like so and it will just vibrate. Now this vibration would actually be great if you were to implement this into a game or whatnot. So if you put this in the collision, say if two objects collide, you want this to vibrate. Like I said, this is interchangeable between Sprite Kit and non Sprite Kit. Although if they don't have a device that is actually using vibration or has a vibration motor inside of it, it will not be able to play. Such as an iPad, it won't play. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this is a quick tutorial, but if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. More tutorials about Sprite Kit coming up. Yes, I am looking at you. So let's go ahead. Why do I keep doing that? But anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Yes, my birthday is on July 23rd and we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I just have like 350 more to go. So if we can hit that by my birthday, that would be the best birthday present ever. Anyway, bye.